today we're going to do reductions. So a scale diagram can be smaller than the original diagram. This type of scale diagram is called a reduction. A reduction has a scale factor that is less than 1. An enlargement has a scale factor that is more than 1 that we saw the other day. Okay, so again, when, when they're giving you squares and stuff, you should be using the squares to actually measure, not a ruler. So here is the center, and if I count this, this is 5, and that's called the radius. And if you take this center and go to here, the radius is 2. And it's, it's telling you which one is the original and which one is the scale diagram. So remember my um, triangle here, scale factor is enlargement or reduction over the original. So you can see my scale factor is going to be my reduction is 2 divided by 5, which gives me 0.4. Or you can leave it as 2 fifths. But again, the scale factor is um, less than 1 again. If I took a ruler and measured this, I would get 3.7 centimeters. If I measure this, I get 1.8 centimeters. Again, scale factor is equal to the um, reduction or enlargement. In this case, it's a reduction, 1.8 centimeters, divided by 3.7 centimeters. Notice the centimeters cancel, and we're left with approximately, if I rounded, 0.5. So it's half the amount. Again, here's some squares. If I count this, this is a length of 12, and this is a width of 4. This is a length of 3, and this is a length of 1. So again, length is the longer side. So make sure you are comparing the longer side in one diagram to the longer side in the other diagram. It doesn't matter which one. They should be the same. So I'm going to just prove it to you by doing both. So I'm going to take the reduction, which is 3 squares, and divide by 12 squares, and I get 0.25. And if I take the widths and compare it, I get 1 divided by 4, which gives me 0.25. And you don't have to do both. You just pick one. They're both the same. I'll just take, just pick one dimension. Oops, I'm not spelling it right. One second. Dimension to compare. All right, next page. The top of a view of a rectangular patio has a length of 165 and a width of 105 centimeters. A reduction is drawn from a scale factor of one-fifth find the dimensions of the reduction. So again, here's my triangle. Remember, scale factors here, originals there, and reductions here. If I want to calculate re reduction, I'm going to multiply these two together, right? So my reduction, let's start with my length, is 165 centimeters, and I'm going to be taking that and timesing it by one-fifth, one divided by five, and I get 33 centimeters. And if I want the width, that is 105 centimeters, and that's times by one divided by five, which gives me 21 centimeters. So if they ask you for dimensions, you're supposed to say it as length by width. So dimensions are 33 centimeters by, by with the, the X, 21 centimeters. So there is my dimensions, length and width. All right, the top view of a rectangular swimming pool has dimensions of 10 meters by 5 meters. A reduction can be drawn to a scale of 1 50th. What's the reduction? So because we're making such a reduction, um, keeping it in meters is going to make it very, very small. So do you understand that, because um, scale diagrams, you're not going to use meters to measure a diagram. So um, 10 meters, does anybody know how to change meters to centimeters? Well, 
we move it two decimal places. So, so this would be a thousand centimeters, and five meters would be add two five hundred centimeters. So, we're going to take again the length. This is the reduction. And that's going to be one thousand. How did I know that was the length? Because it's the longer one. Times it by one fifty. One divided by fifty on my calculator. And I get 20 centimeters. And the reduction width would be 500 centimeters times 1 divided by 50. And I get 10 centimeters. So then it says find the dimensions. Therefore, the dimensions would be 20 centimeters by 10 centimeters. All right, last example. Suppose you draw a scale diagram of this triangle. You use a scale of one quarter. What are the lengths of the reduction? So I have to first measure this. I get 3.4 centimeters when I measure it with a ruler, and this is 4.7 centimeters. So if I take my height, we're going to call this a height, and this is the base, my reduction height is going to be 3.4 centimeters. Again, remember the triangle, so if I'm finding the reduction, it's a times, so we're going to times it by one quarter. So I get 0.85 centimeters, and my base is 4.7 centimeters times 1 quarter, and I get 1.175 centimeters, and then I'm going to draw that with my ruler. So I've got to draw this. This is really tiny. Uh, where's my ruler? I'll grab it from up there. Bring it on down. All right, so my height. I'm going to do my base first since that's right there, 1.17. 1. 1. So 0 to 1.17, so it's almost 1.2. And then I'm going to rotate this and line it up. And this is going to be 0.85, so halfway between 8 and 9. So let's say about there. And then we will connect it. Oops. <laughs> Again, this is hard to do with my smart board, but we'll get her done. Okay. There we go. All right. And we should label it as well. So this is 1.175 centimeters, and this is 0 0.85 centimeters. And that is reductions.